All right, so in today's video, now that I'm Mythic, I'm just gonna play some Chandra because I haven't played Chandra in a while. And I think it's a really budget-friendly option for friendly uh, for new players, so, almost said friendly players. You only have, uh, <clears throat> excuse me, Hellrider as your epic, along with uh, Ball Lightning, everything else is common and uncommon. If you don't have those, you can refer to uh, some other videos of mine where I have budget Chandra lists. But uh, the deck is very cheap, and I think it's very powerful. And I kind of just want to see if it still hangs. I'm not sure if I want to change the Active Volcano to the one that adds the uh, one-drop Hasters, but I think I'm just going to keep it Active Volcano and just keep the old retro list. This is the same list that I used to get to Mythic the first time, the very first season of this game. So let's see if Chandra can still keep up, right? Oh, and before I start today's video, um, by the time this airs, I should have 900 subs. I think I have like 898 right now. And I just really wanted to pre uh, show my appreciation for everyone that supports the channel. Um, you know, when I made the channel, I, uh, I got a new computer, I got the mic, I got the webcam, all that sort of stuff. You can see that, you know, I've been putting work into the background, you know, just kind of um, seeing if I can make it work. And, you know, being 90% of the way to getting monetized is just... Um, really incredible and um, I don't know I'm just really grateful to everyone that supports the channel and 99% uh, of the comments are always nice um, you know very uplifting stuff so I just wanted to thank you guys for that and um, the other thing was I don't know if um, sometimes my posts don't get seen that much so I just wanted to put it in the video as well but n after I hit mythic I don't mind just focusing on content that you guys would like so uh, a few things that I've been thinking about is um, Maybe running uh, tournaments, maybe um, just playing uh, some of my subs in my videos, um, and um, I also wanted to know what you guys thought about if you guys like maybe submitted gameplay footage to me somehow. Like I don't know how we would how you could send me such like large files. I'm not really familiar how that would work, but I could look into it, and maybe I could. Um, you know, almost like review your games and see where you're going wrong if you're stuck in like. Uh, platinum or diamond or something like that and you know you just want to hit mythic and maybe you think your play needs a little bit of tightening up and maybe I could just give my input on what I think you could improve on um, you know I'm just trying to find uh, new ways of making content other than just constant gameplay videos but not that that's a bad thing because it's obviously been working so again uh, thank you guys and with all that being said uh, let's get into it all right let's see if this day one Chandra list can hold a candle to the power creep. Let's see how power crept the game has gotten. That's actually kind of an interesting take on it. Maybe it'll be alright. I, I do think Chandra needs some kind of help. I don't know. I'm not sure what it is. I don't know if she just needs like a little bit. Oh, that makes sense that the wait times are going to be longer now. Um, I don't know if she needs like some better aggro tools now. Like basically I'm wondering if like See, the problem is, like, if you adjust any of the red aggro tools, then Angrix just gets beatable, you know? So I'm not sure what she needs. Maybe her ability needs a change, but I really have always enjoyed the direct damage because, like I've always said, that combined with Lava Axe is 9 damage. And so if I, know, if I draw a Lava Axe at some point, they're effectively starting the game with 9 less health, which is a big deal. Dritzed is very difficult. I don't expect to beat Dritzed, especially if they... Um, some of that three drop worm that's a five five. That's a big problem. Also, if there's anything that you want me to um, to play, just let me know in the comments and I'll see what I can do. Flame shots kind of underwhelming. Um, those two are okay. I got two turns to draw a two drop. This is a completely fine two drop to draw. I can support my goblin. Let events take their course. Hellrider's not bad either. Smashy, smashy, smashy indeed. Run! Okay. I think I recognize this guy's name. I don't know if I played him coming up. Oh yeah, that's totally fine. Um, this nerf actually really hurts right now. This nerf is actually really, really painful. 
because in the past I would have been able to um, keep my thing alive. And this actually might be the biggest uh, problem, uh, not problem, but the biggest uh, harm to this strategy is um, the plus two. <laughs> So I'm effectively doing nothing for a turn, and that in itself might be the reason why I lose. I guess I'll go ahead and arm it. If he thinks that maybe he can like grudge match and get over it. I saw the the two, and I was like, man, he actually is gonna grudge match and it's gonna work. Okay, so now it's not like super terrible because I effectively didn't do anything because uh, we both lost tempo on this last turn, right? So um, it's nowhere near as bad as it could be, and this 3, 4, 5 uh, curve I have here is really nasty. And I'll be able to curve all the way out before this has a chance to go off, which I think is actually really important. Go right through them, Bo. Go right through them, Bo. Go no right through them. Yeah. This is 14, so, you know, if I have a Lava Axe at any point, he's effectively at 9 right now. So that's like, Lava Axe is so underrated, man. I thought about running Lava Axe and Raw a few times with my School of the Wizard nonsense. That's such a low tempo turn, that's like, he's dead. And that's why I've always loved um, the Chandra list, because if they ever um, lag behind in any way, they just die. And this is like one of the big reasons we run the Ghoul. Yeah. <laughs> Get out of here. That's why we run uh, this, this good boy here, because um, he's just so beefy, man. Uh, I'm curious to see like what one win gets you now in Mythic because I don't I don't think there's even a hundred people in Mythic yet. Um, I might I might try and stay in the top 100 this season instead of letting it instead of tanking so hard. What I usually do is um, I just play enough for my video. Okay, so I went up five spots for one win. I don't know. We'll see. But what I was saying was, is I usually just um, play enough for the video every day after I hit Mythic and stop so I don't get burnt out. But I really enjoy the meta that we're in right now. I think Raul is the best deck right now. Um, maybe I could do a deck on that. It's just like a standard stock list that's been floating around pretty much uh, all over the Discord. I almost made a change to it a few times, putting in uh, Pyroclasms basically to f uh, free the board up for the... Um, Chaos Lightnings and the uh, Pyromancer to be able to poke a bunch, but I ended up not doing that. I just kept it how it was. But I did the majority of my climbing with um, Jace. I got to like 1850-ish with Jace, and then I just got tired of worrying about it, and I just wanted to get there. Liliana um, can be difficult. If it's the reanimator version, we win. Probably. If it's the classic version, it just depends how many um, how many bodies they draw, right? I think Rotting Baboon is like crazy good. I don't know why Lilian doesn't run it more. Okay, so with a hand like this, we just keep our two drop and then we let it rock after that. Okay, so at some point with Cannoneer, I might be able to go tall and short cutter something and then get damage through. They buffed her health. She would have been at 19 uh, last patch, but they thought she needed a buff, which she absolutely does not because the reanimator deck is stupid. Uh, you saw my deck from, well, I posted it today, but it's, you know, yesterday. It's, uh, it's really dumb and I didn't even, like, build it correctly. And it was still stupid. He's going to attack thinking that I won't block because I don't want to give up some kind of spell and that's just not the case, so I'm going to get a two for one. Exactly. Um, I'm probably going to go uh, Firecrafter just to utilize all my mana and then I also get... Oh, I used a Fragile Mana Gem, so never mind. Um, this is fine. He probably wouldn't have blocked anyway, but maybe, maybe he would have. So that's 16, so he's effectively at 13 already. And then if Firecrafter gives me more burn to face, then it's just really nasty. Yeah, it's whatever. I still have a trade here. He's going to pass, and then, um, man, I wish I could flame shot him right now and just ruin his life. 
So I'm gonna do this. And then I'm gonna pass and let him walk into this flame shot. Okay, and a braid's not bad. And I'm just gonna take all this damage. And this is how we win if he leaves me alone. He might take this turn to like foul. That's fine, that's so low tempo. Just don't pull a Minotaur. I got no idea what's happening. I have no idea what's happening. Okay, he didn't want to give up his board either, it's understandable. Was this guy in Mythic? This doesn't seem like a Mythic deck to me. What? Why did this get bigger? Because it killed a zombie before it did the, the damage? That's like the dumbest thing I've ever seen, man. Like, they should have died it should have died before this got summoned back. That's really stupid timing. That's really stupid timing. Makes no sense. What and this is also why I would keep this land the same, because this combined with Lava Axe and Flame Shot, you can just end the game face damage, dude. I don't care about the millstone. You're gonna give me cards. I have no idea what's happening. I have no idea what's happening. I'm I am at a complete loss. I was gonna say if they summon something with less than two defense, this game is super over. And we never block this here because um, it can't block. So this thing basically doesn't exist as far as we're concerned. Okay, so we can do this. So let's think here. We got five, and then we have. Uh, six, seven, and then we have eight and nine. And then they're dead to our burn in hand next turn. I'm gonna have to go back and look and see if this person was mythic, but it tries so hard to like pair you well in the new system, so like they're at least high diamond, like they're not scrubby. Just a very strange deck, man. So such low tempo. Yeah, this got lava axe, and you're still dead on board. And you're gonna okay. At least they didn't just play with the turn and scoop. Oh, is the the land literally is gonna kill them for me? Look at that. I don't have to touch stuff. Yeah, this deck still slaps. You know what? I'll keep it up. I want to see what another win does if it's like around like a plus five again. Maybe that'll be the title, sir. Chandra still slaps. <laughs> I laugh way too much at my stupid jokes. It doesn't even have to be a joke to crack me up, to be honest. Let's see. Wasn't I 75 a second ago? Okay, I'll take that. Oh, that's another thing, guys, that I find, like, super duper cringe. This is a hard matchup, always has been. Um, is in the Discord, whenever these guys get, like, in the top 10, and they think they're, like, so good at the game, and it's like, you're not that good at the game, you just, like, you know, uh, almost said a bad thing. You just uh, use the best decks, and... Um, I mean, and you just play so much. Like, if you notice, I don't even play that game as much as people think I do. My level's 46. I'm not even the max level in this game yet. There were people max level in this game on the first month, if that gives you any indication. Like, a lot of the gameplay happens up here for me, you know, and that's why, why I like the, the deck building and, and stuff like that. Like, I don't need to constantly play to um, build good decks or have a good feel for the game. I played, like, 30 card games at this point. Probably more than that, honestly. But, um, yeah, it's super cringe in the Discord, like, I'm 6th, now I'm 5th, now I'm 4th, and it's like, bro, you're playing Artifact Jace Mill, like, shut the hell up. No one cares. Um, so... As dumb as this is, I just have to develop. And that's something you have to do in Chandra's use your mana very efficiently. But, like, I could literally be in the top whatever, how, however far I feel like going, whenever I feel like going, and I don't have the need to just, like spam discord with my accomplishment it's so stupid but that's that's my logan rant for today
Um, if he doesn't block, this is 10, so I'm basically going to force him to block. Yeah, and he's going to take the rest. He should, he should take the rest. Yeah, that's not right. That bird could have sa basically saved him more health long term. But this is fine. Do you see this, guys? Do you see how powerful Chandra is still? He will sleep on my girl all the time, man. I'm telling you. Like, and I, I could still very well lose this match, but I think it's, like, the point's already been demonstrated. My hook, my back. Ooh. Let me tell you, that's tempting. Um, because if they don't do anything... Well, they're down to 7. It's not quite good enough, but... It's, sadly, it's not quite good enough. Either way, this is going to survive or trade. And if it survives and it's more um, goodness with my Hellrider, yeah, I'm not. He should have thought there was the growth there. Unless he thought I just cared that much about getting rid of a 1-1, one -one, which is kind of silly. Or maybe he thought I was bluffing, right? <laughs> no, my goblin trades with that if he doesn't have something, but he probably does. See, now this is what I was talking about with the uh, the worm. Um, if he has a 5-5 five five worm, it's really hard to deal with. But I don't mind losing to Dom Ray at all. It's going to be close, though. I could top deck, like, really well and get out of this, I think. Not if they just keep ramping, though. If it's that in a grudge match, I'm in trouble. Okay, so he prioritized that instead. Um, really good pass by him. Big decision. So I can go here, but it feeds into his uh, guy here. And then the other two will trade. And I'll basically be left with nothing whatsoever. If I do this followed by uh, this onto here, then he has no good blocks. And I just feel like it's the better play. Like, either way, he's losing stuff. And he has to lose stuff or he's going to lose. So, this is what I am have to do. And then I have two burst damage next turn if he doesn't think he has to get rid of my cannoneer. Which he might not feel like is necessary. Interesting. So he's just gonna 4-4 uh, four, four into 5-2 and take the 6. Okay. Yep. Oh! Okay. Well, that's fine. I understand. That's, that's sensible. I think, I think also taking it there is sensible as well. I enjoy this game a lot more. Oh, come on. Why do you have to do that to me? I enjoy this game a lot more after I hit Mythic already. Just all the pressure's off, man. And I can, like, I feel like I even think better. Because there's just no stress. Yeah, this is this is where I, I lose and they start getting free stuff too much. And he's gonna block here, and then I'm gonna take a bunch of damage next turn. Oh, excuse me. Block there, of course. I considered just playing this, playing the cards out, but um, if he has any piece of interaction, then I just don't even get an attack off, and I feel like he does have something. Like a grudge match, another one of the, um, another one of these, like, um, even if he has the club, which most of them don't run anymore, but it's just, it's possible. So I'd rather just get in the attack, rather than just cross my fingers and hope everything's fine. And this is what happens when you play Domri with Chandra, is, um... Okay, and they had the grudge match, exactly. So, if I had done what I just said, like just playing them, I would have just not even gotten the attack. No misplays, bad matchup. If you want to take out these two, or these two, I'd... I'd uh, I'll go ahead and see what the next draw is, but yeah, this is historically, I think, Chandra's worst matchup. And I've heard a lot in the past that Domri is just strictly better, but it's just simply it's just simply not true. Um, yeah, it's just simply uh, not true. But yeah, we're done here. Um, and the reason I think that I think like most of the time I don't know it's 
it might be meta dependent, but having that reach, like there's a lot of decks that can start to stabilize between like three and six, and that extra little bit of speed Chandra gives you with the lot, like maybe Domri with Lava Axe is strictly better. I'm not sure. I'm not sure. It's hard to say now. It's hard to say now. But I think that'll do it for. Oh, let's see how far I dropped. 28. Okay, so I'm back to 75. So I went up five points. Okay, but um, I just wanted to see how strong Chandra was, and as you can see, I just got two out of three games in the top 100. Um, not that that's saying much. There's not even 100 mythic people yet, but obviously the people I'm playing against are good, which is the point. And um, it's super budget friendly. So if you're new to the game and um, you want to get to diamond like pretty easily. Uh, if you have any experience with card games, you will. And um, you just need to like ask your teammates to donate for this card and to donate for this because they're both super important. But there are budget options. If you want like a very detailed um, reasoning for all this stuff, in my I have several Chandra videos where I go into great detail about how I set up boards with this so that you know Flame Shot wins me games and stuff like that. But you know it's Chandra; it's not very complicated. Um, but, uh, it's very linear, but that doesn't mean there aren't, like, important... There's usually, like, one or two really pivotal decisions to make in a game, and if you make the wrong one, you're just gonna lose. So you might think it sucks, because you're just making that one wrong decision, but I promise you, it's a very strong deck. But, again, um, thank all you guys for your support, man. You guys are great, and I will see you tomorrow.